Okay. Okay. Hey guys, Nick Slowak here, Houston Heat. Here at World Cup with a new Pulse RDR loader. I'm uh, going to talk to you guys about a little bit of the functions of the loader, um, how it works, all the cool things it has. Uh, quick heads up though, this is still just a prototype. We still got some new stuff coming out. It should be out in a couple months. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Uh, the version I have here has got a lid. It pops up. We've got speed feeds available. Those will be out soon. Um, as many of you know, the old Pulse had a tray, so I'll show that really quick. A little button you push, pull right out. The loader comes apart. You can see inside, there's say, really two pieces to it. Um, big thing about this loader, the big talk about it, has been the chronograph. And that's located right here at the front. And that pulls right off. That's all it is, right there. Just this little piece, weighs next to nothing. It stays right in front of the loader. Hopefully I can get it back together one piece for you really quick. Uh, let's see here. We won't worry about that. We'll put that down. Uh, batteries, it takes four double A's, so one more than what most people are used to. There's a little slot here, push it. That's where your batteries sit, right inside. Again, this should slide right up, and I do apologize. I just got done playing, a little sweaty. <laughs> it's really out here. There you go, the batteries go right back in. Then the chronograph, slide right back in here on front of the loader. Hopefully I'm confident enough to get it in, there you go. It's all back, that's a complete tray. You've got the drive cone system, two paddles. Oop. And this will slide right back into the loader like so. Clicks right into place and there you go. So we're gonna show you the display here. Turn the loader on, you've got three buttons. You're gonna push both these buttons on the side at the same time. This loader's set to hot start so you'll see how the, the screen pops up. The loader starts spinning instantly. Um, when I go through the settings with you, uh, you can adjust that a whole bunch of different ways, but you're gonna hold down to get into the menu board. Hold down the left button for about five, six seconds. You should see it's change here. You got the menus that come up. The right button will scroll up and down all the way to the options. The left button will take you back up and the center button will select whatever you have highlighted. Then once you go into it, so we're in pulse time, we'll select that. You've got slow, medium, and fast, and then exit so you can go up and down. Select whatever you like. I'm gonna exit that. Um, there are tons of things to get into. I don't know if we have enough time, to, if I can talk about it, to get into all the different functionalities on the board uh, of the loader that you can change and adjust. But say you get into that and you know you set something and you don't remember what it is, you can go all the way back to the bottom. There's a factory reset button. It'll reset the entire loader to how you got it. And go ahead and just turn it off. Uh, so in a nutshell, that's the loader. And uh, stay tuned for the final product to come out soon. We got a couple guys using them here at the World Cup. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to post up in GI Sports or hit me up on Facebook.